Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another episode of Double Trouble. Today I'm doing another post commentation, or is it commentation? I don't even know, but I'm doing another uh, post narration of this battle. Uh, it's another Lithio gym battle. Uh, today we're battling at ShadowChu26, I believe is the Twitter handle. Um, he's probably one of the best battlers I've ever seen. Uh, very, very good at singles. Um, not as good in doubles, but he's still so good that <laughs> it, from from his word he says he, he's not very good at doubles, but you know he, he's a good battler. So even though he doesn't play doubles a lot, it is still he's still really good. Um, so you know, like, like looking at his team, I'm, I'm gonna just explain a few things. Uh, looking at his team, you know, I wanted to start off with Blastoise and Marowak. Uh, the reason I wanted to start off with Blastoise and Marowak is because I figured that if I started off with Blastoise and Talonflame, um, and he started off with either Raichu or Luxray, um, the predicted switch into, Manic into Marowak is really obvious, so I didn't want to start off that way. So I figured that my best bet was to really start off with Blastoise and Marowak, so there was no guessing on his side, and he knew, like, oh, I cannot go for a an electric-type attack. Um, so that was my plan. Another thing you might notice is that, barring Kecleon and Amoongus, my team is really, really Venusaur weak. And I'll be quite honest with you, uh, Kecleon can can take attacks from Venusaur often. Um, however, I do need to fix up the moveset so it can actually dish back damage, because it can't really. And Amoongus can eat up a lot of Venusaur's attacks, but it can't do anything back to it. So Venusaur really destroys my team, and um, that's one of the things that I really need to fix about this team. So I'm going to hit play and we're going to get going. But once I saw that Venusaur, I knew I was in for a really rough battle. Um, <laughs> Venusaur really does run through my entire team, like, without anything. So, of course, he starts off with Kofagrigus and Venusaur, knowing that my Blastoise was really a solid lead against his team. Um, and this really just demonstrates how good of a battler he is. And he goes straight for that Mega Evolution, and I know instantly I've basically lost this game. I have nothing to hit this Venusaur super effectively outside of my Talonflame, so I need to keep my Talonflame as alive as long as possible. So what I go here is I go for Protect just to scat out what the Venusaur will do, and uh, I actually went for Substitute with my Marowak. Unfortunately for me, uh, his Kofagrigus isn't as slow as I thought it would be, so the Substitute really didn't do much for me. Um, Granted, I predicted it pretty much correctly, I was just wrong. I've, I've always been bad with speed tiers, to be quite honest with you. Um, and I, I just honestly thought that no matter, even even if the Kofagrigus wasn't made for Trick Room, it would still, without a doubt, underspeed my Marowak. So, I, I guess I, I'm wrong with that. Obviously, I'm wrong with that, so I don't know. But um, he decides to Sleep Powder my Talonflame, which is a little unfortunate for me, because that was basically my pressure getting rid of that. Venusaur, and uh, I wasn't really sure what to do, but I, I go for Bone Rank here just to see how much damage and potentially scout out how bulky this Venusaur is, and even Burnt, it doesn't do, you know, really bad damage. That was actually pretty good for a Burnt Marowak um, against a Venusaur, so I'm kind of thinking it's not nearly as bulky as I'm, it may normally be. I'm not entirely sure though, but either way, you know, I keep my Talonflame in because I'm not really sure what this Venusaur wants to do to me. Uh, it's going to go for Sludge Bomb, which I can easily eat up, uh, and then he's going to go for Shadow Ball, which again goes on to my Amoongus, which I of course can easily eat up as well. Um, so the Sludge Bomb is about a 3 hit KO, with me sleeping I can't really, you know, I can't, uh, I can't get poisoned. So that's nice. Um, I made a mistake here, and I forget that Rage Powder doesn't affect Grass types, because basically what I was doing is I was just trying to draw the attacks into my Amoongus in order to allow my Talonflame the chance to not take damage and wake up. Um, for unfortunately for me, it, it didn't work because he is a Grass type, and that didn't work out in my favor. But uh, he's been counting the speed, the the times. I actually didn't think I'd wake up this turn, to be quite honest with you. But um, he switches out his Venusaur because the Brave Bird coming his way is pretty obvious. I do wake up. I really did not think I would wake up that turn, but hey, it happened. <laughs> I kept going for Brave Bird anyway, just in case. Uh, it doesn't do any damage, though, because, of course, this is a Luxray. 
um, who was resistant to my aerial prowess. Uh, and unfortunately, he does get a Shadow Ball off onto my Talonflame, which puts me in a really, really bad position, because now I have nothing for this Venusaur. Uh, I decided to go for Spore here, because I wanted to basically work around um, this Kofi Grigus, and I do have ar Aromatherapy on my Aromatee, so I can easily get that burn away. Um, he goes for Ice Fang, and it doesn't even kill me, which is great. Uh, Marowak, as I've mentioned before, is pretty dang bulky, especially on the physical side. Um, so even burnt, I'm gonna go for that Bone Meringue. I wasn't actually sure if this thing was having Air, bu air Balloon. I remember I battled uh, Shadow Chew before, and uh, I missed the air balloon, but then I realized, hey, I used Brave Bird on it, and that popped, if it had it, the air balloon. So I was like, whatever, I'm gonna go for Bone Ring, and of course it's enough to take it out, but unfortunately, I only took out one electric type with my Marowak. There's still a Raichu somewhere on his team that I need to handle. Um, so he brings in his Metacham, which is actually kind of scary, uh, but I know it's not Mega, because he's Venusaur Mega, so I'm just going to go for a Sucker Punch on it, see how much damage I can do, and it doesn't do more than half, and, and this is where I'm really realizing that my team desperately needs this Kecleon's moveset change. Um, the 52 attack is good for the Charizard. It's great for Charizard. It one hit KOs the Charizard, it can take Charizard hits all day. But you know what I need to do? I need to give it more attack so it can do more damage with its Sucker Punch and stuff like that. And especially, as you'll see in this battle, when it doesn't have Protean, it doesn't do any damage whatsoever. So the Metachamp does go for a uh, Psycho cut, cut on me, and this is why I like Aromatisse, it's really bulky, and if a Pokemon has damage already, it's Moonblast, if it's super effective, will take things out. So basically I was hoping on the, uh, the Kofagrigus to stay sleeping, and uh, I went for Trick Room here, figuring that the Metachamp wouldn't be attacking my Kecleon. Um, and I'd be able to kill it with Moonblast. And that, that's exactly what happened, and I'm glad that that's what happened. So then he comes in with the Venusaur, and I'm not really sure what to do, so I was thinking, I'm gonna set this up so my Blastoise can kill this Venusaur, because I'm hoping, you know, the Venusaur takes out my, um, Aromatisse this turn with Sludge Bomb. So I take away its Thick Fat. This way, when I come in with my Blastoise, he doesn't resist my Ice Beam anymore. I can hit him super effectively with a very powerful attack. And you know what, That's it wasn't that bad of an idea. Um, he didn't end up attacking me this turn, he went for Sleep Powder, but I do carry uh, Safety Goggles on this Aromatisse, specifically be because I use it actually in my um, Sand Room team, so that's why it has Safety Goggles. But uh, I go for Sucker Punch, hoping to do a lot of damage to this Venusaur, but unfortunately he does switch out. Um, and <laughs> what I didn't really think about in that point was that Sucker Punch is priority, so I wouldn't have gotten the aromatherapy off before, but either way, I would have still done good enough damage, and hopefully my, um, my aromatis would have gotten the aromatherapy off, and then I would have been able to die and then bring in my Blastoise, but unfortunately he switched out, so that whole plan was just ruined. Um, so I, I attacked the Kofagrigus with Moonblast and Rock Slide hoping to kill it, because I wasn't sure if it would go for an attack against me, you know, knowing that both my Pokemon are decently bulky. Um, I am, I believe, I should be a Psychic type right now with my Kecleon, so I'm, I was actually kind of, I should have thought of that, he probably would have gone for a Shadow Ball, but, um, so whatever. Uh, I decide right now, you know, my Kecleon's burn, it's not going to really be doing too much, or... Is it still burnt? I don't think it's burnt anymore. Um, so I go for Moonblast, really hoping to KO this Kofagrigus, but unfortunately, oh man, um, he goes for Light Screen, and I, it was literally that close. Had he not gone for Light Screen, he would have 100% been dead, but uh, that's what happened, you know. Uh, and then finally, you know, Trick Room goes out, and I really want it back because I really needed to take some of these threats out. So I protect, I let him attack me, I'm, you know, he goes for my Aromatisse, and I'm not sure if I'll take it, but I do take it pretty well, you know, that was only about 20 damage, and I do get my Trick Room back off. So now, you know, it's just, I think it's like 3 against 4 at this point, uh, so I go for the Moonblast, hoping to do some damage, it does good damage, it does. Um, however, my Blastoise is kind of fast, so my Aromatisse will go down before I have a chance to take it out this turn. Um, I decide to Water Pulse this thing as well. And then the, the Klefki goes before me, and 
uh, it confused me for a second because you're so used to seeing them with the priority and going first that when it outsped my Blastoise and Trick Room, I was like, wait, I'm really confused. What's going on right now? But uh, I figured it out, you know. <laughs> he is pretty slow. So in comes the Venusaur, and now I'm thinking, what can I do here? Well, I need to get rid of that thick fat because I really desperately need to... Uh, to kill it with Ice Beam, and that's really my only option right now, because it could probably kill me with a Giga Drain. Um, so I get rid of its Thick Fat. I know my Kecleon will be faster, so I know that that's going to work. Um, and then, of course, I do go with my Ice Beam. I go for the attack, and he has Light Screen up. That was probably such an important move on his part. Um, because of that Light Screen, he actually survived that attack, and it's good to know that if I do make a Pure Grass... Uh, not a pure grass, if I make it uh, without thick fat, my Blastoise can take it out at a pretty good, reasonable rate. And uh, I'd assume that if I was at full HP, I can effectively counter that. But um, the unfortunate thing that happened here is my Kecleon did get paralyzed. Um, I had chose chosen Rock Slide, and I calced it out. Um, maybe you guys can tell me, because I can't really tell. But I calced it out, um, unstabbed Rock Slide from my specific Kecleon does around 13 to 16 percent. Um, so I think it was at the range where it was enough to take it out. So it's a little unfortunate, a little hacksy, I would have still had my Blastoise remaining. Um, he wouldn't have gotten the Rock Slide up, uh, the Reflect up in order to save his Venusaur. However, the only other thing that you really need to remember is that he does have the Raichu in the back, and once Trick Room got out, my Blastoise at the HP range I was at can't survive a Thunderbolt, and also considering that I was paralyzed with my Kecleon, and um, I didn't have Protean anymore. So I, I can't say that I would have been able to win the game, but it wouldn't have been a 3-0 or whatever it was. Either way, you know, it was a great game. It was, it was really intense, and... Um, really really demonstrated to me that I need to get rid I need I need something for Venusaur it, like I have nothing right now I need to pump up my Kecleon and you know what I like the team the way it is I really really do the thing that I don't really like the most is Amoongus Amoongus doesn't do anything on my team it does nothing you know like I've come down to matches where it's just Amoongus right just Amoongus, and Amoongus does not have the power to bring me back from that game. You know, when I went to regionals in Massachusetts, I brought a team with Ferrothorn, and Ferrothorn has basically the same role as Amoongus does, except it's a tiny bit bulkier and um, it doesn't have Rage Powder or Spore. Uh, but the cool thing about Ferrothorn is that when it was two to one, you know, two Pokemon versus Ferrothorn, I could easily stall them out with Leech Seed and win. And I love that part about Ferrothorn. The fact that Amoongus can't do anything when it's 2v1 is, is very, very saddening. You know, um, I really like the Rage Powder. I really like being able to redirect moves, but what's the point if I can't do anything after that, you know? So, I might test this team with Ferrothorn. I'm probably gonna. I'm, no, I'm 100% sure I'm changing this Kecleon's uh, moves EV spread. Um, you know, I keep saying, you know, I don't want skill swap. I always forget to get rid of skill swap, and then something like this happens where I'm like, huh, you know, skill swap is actually kind of useful here. So, I don't know. Um, I, I really don't. It, it could be anything. Skill Swap was really only useful in that specific spot. You know, on the other team, the other VGC team I use, you know, Skill Swap is good for bringing the sun back if I have Charizard and Kecleon out. It's good for a variety of things, but for right now, I haven't seen it too much of use. I want to extensively test it a little bit more to just double check that I'm right, that I don't really need Skill Swap. Um, and especially if I get something that can count hard counter Venusaur then I don't have to worry about getting rid of its thick fat, you know. Um, plus, I do have Talonflame, so if I can play a little bit better and keep my Talonflame alive, there's always a good chance of, you know, Talonflame taking out the Venus source. So, that's what I got for you guys today. Uh, not much else, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you at the next video. Peace.